In January 2017, Carrie Monk had undergone a hysterectomy at Lakeland Regional Medical Center. Soon after the procedure, she began suffering from constant bleeding. The pain, the, there was odor, discharge, problems would happen when I would stand for a long time. At the time, Monk worked as a nurse at Lakeland Regional. As her symptoms grew worse, she was told it was an issue she would have to deal with for the rest of her life. It had really affected my entire life, my, my mental health, and my relationship with my husband. It wasn't until a year later she was informed that doctors use permanent sutures instead of dissolvable sutures when performing her hysterectomy. I was just in complete disbelief. I could not believe that this institution that I had worked for and had dedicated my life and my career to had let me down. Monk is one of three women who have filed medical malpractice lawsuits against Lakeland Regional. Her attorney says he's helping more than a dozen women file lawsuits. They were wronged by the medical procedure and all have suffered to some degree or another, some far worse than others, of course, uh, for a long period of time unnecessarily. In the past couple of weeks, Lakeland Regional has sent certified letters to former patients stating doctors use permanent stitches instead of dissolvable ones when performing hysterectomies and inviting patients to contact the medical center to discuss treatment options. I asked the hospital about the letters. In an emailed statement, the president of Lakeland Regional Health said, being upfront with our patients and their families is vital not only to our relationship with patients, but also to providing them the best outcomes. In Lakeland, Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News.